What's up, Booyah Nation? It's your boy, Double A Nine Skills. Welcome back to the Road of Foot Champions RTG Edition. And today we got the big boy rewards on hand, baby. If you're excited to see our rewards, smash a big old thumbs up. Today is gonna be Elite One Rewards. One game, one win away from top 100. I believe 36 was enough for top 100 this week. We got 35, unfortunately, but it's okay. Nobody fear your boy Skills is here with some Elite One. Now, as of right now, Booyah Nation, we have 109,000 in coins so that's not bad i want to show you some things we sold before we get into it i think we sold oh yeah we sold some bronze stuff uh we sold pepe for 21,000 coins we lost a lot of money on pepe because pepe was going for we bought it for like 33 i believe it was so we lost mad money on pepe we lost a lot of money on demarcos but that's what happens when there's requirements involved we'll go ahead and list the rest up all the stuff that didn't sell we'll relist it and we'll clear the market because we are about to open up our rewards and all we can do is hope for the best yo can we strive for 20,000 likes on this episode man it's a reward episode i know how much y'all love that stuff i want to show you the team that i want to get for this weekend in case you missed last episode of this series i want to pick up De Gea. i also want to pick up sergio ramos and if somehow we are extremely lucky then we're going to pick up neymar zito for the striker position now i do not believe we are going to get lucky like that so uh we have 109,000 coins which is pretty much enough already for De Gea. with the rewards we should have enough just the coins that we're going to get we should have enough for sergio ramos so anything else we make will be for fitness cards and for contract cards and let's be honest right now the way this game is you need a lot of money for fitness cards Cards, man, it's absolutely incredible. Let me make sure everything's recording. Voice good, camera good, and the gameplay is good. Let's get into it, baby. Real quick, thumbs that bad boy up. And there it is, man. Elite one rewards on, on the road to glory. One away from top 100. That would have been epic. Two jumbo packs, 125,000 coins, and two team of the week premium packs now we had 109,000 coins and now all of a sudden we have 234,000 coins guys i don't care if you're good at the game i don't care if you're bad at the game i don't care if you're decent at the game make sure you're playing the weekend league man get as many games as possible in because look how many coins we're at just from playing the weekend league and i know you're gonna turn to me like skills i can't get as good as you do or this or that yo first of all you can get as good as i do because all you gotta do is practice the game anybody could do what i'm doing i'm not nothing special at this game i promise you that more importantly any rewards is better than no rewards man let's jump into the jumbo packs right away let's see if we get a walkout no walkout of reno but we're gonna get nothing all right who's gonna say is he selling sell 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 uh bpl center back you never really know with the bpl center back at this point i just want oh it's all players huh all right this is one of those all player ones so we're gonna sell everything doesn't matter um titty might sell we're gonna see if el shirawi's in that he has a new picture as well shirawi does uh we got zaza yo at this point i didn't even want the all player ones guys i legitimately wanted the con ones that give contracts uh, jumbo packs are cool jumbo player packs i wish we had contracts and fitness cards coming out but we don't either way we still gotta be happy with what we get that's a pretty big flare it's probably gonna be who okay all right not bad mertens right there 85 rated mertens i believe he has a new picture as well he got some elvis haircut going on there it looks like my man mertens what you selling for baby let's see what's going on with the boy mertens not bad at all Seventeen thousand big ones that's not too bad yo we'll take that uh we'll send all this up uh, to the trade pile. Anything else in that goes sells for a little bit? Abate, he finally got a new picture after like a couple years. I believe in 2012, in FIFA 12, he still had the same picture as he has now. Let's send everything up to the transfer list, and now it's time for the big ones. This is what we've been waiting for. We have some pretty good ones out there. I just want to check real quick because I haven't seen Team of the Week. I know Knight Golin, uh, Knight Golin picked up a, uh, a Team of the Week. Who else? Lewandowski got one. Okay, so Lewandowski would be amazing. Uh, Nigolin would be amazing. Even that the pie would be good. Who and any of these? This is the only one that. Well, we don't even have a BPL team. What fits our team? Kind of nothing. Alexandro would be nasty. All right. Anyways, there's some players that we need Nigolin or we need Lewandowski to make big boy money. Maybe Fabregas sells for a lot as well. I think Fabregas was in there. Let's see what we get, baby. Hopefully Nigolin pops up. Let's see what it is. Okay. No walkout. No not a. Oh, that's a big big flare. 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 <laughs> Sometimes in life, you just don't get lucky, Booyah Nation. What's this going to look like, man? What's in there with it? Um, Wait a minute. 90 pace BPL, please, please, please. 57,000 coins. 50,000 coins. That's not too shabby. We'll take it. It's not, the, it's not the worst. It's not the best, but it's not the worst. All right, one more to hit. Oh, gosh, please, man. I need, not, I need Neymar, man. I need Neymar, man. I need Neymar, man. Please, I need Neymar, man. Please. Lewandowski would be a walkout. We got Memphis Depay. Ah, yo, Memphis Depay. Is he selling? Please tell me he's selling. 94 pace, Memphis Depay. Come on, we got another left back. Yo, those things are coming out like... Oh, man, please. 
90,000 coins it looks like. 50, oh, that one said 50 right there. So this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna start him. I'm gonna start him at 50. Um, and I'm gonna hope he sells. I'm gonna start him at 50 and hope he sells. What does he buy? He's a buyer. I saw a 139. So I'm gonna put him for 130. And I'm gonna start him at 50. That's what I'm gonna do with Memphis to buy. Hopefully that was a good, hopefully that was smart. Uh, we got the same exact two informs in both packs. Uh, we got the left back and we got the cam from the BVA. Absolutely terrible, man. Um, I, I wanna say he's going for somewhere around 50. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put him up for 60. And, oh, uh, wow, I messed that up. I'm gonna put him up for, you know what? I'll list him for a little bit more. I'll put him up for 70 and I'll start. God, I keep messing up, man. Um, 70, why, why is this not working? There we go. And I'm gonna list this up to about 30 and I'm gonna start it like that. So hopefully we make money there. And uh, I believe this Gonzalez guy isn't selling for nothing. Ah, oh, yeah, 10K. Ah, oh, man, sometimes in life you just get unlucky, Booyah Nation. So this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna list up every single player and I'm gonna see where we're at. No matter what, we can get the boy, uh, the boy, uh, Sergio Ramos and we can get the boy De Gea pretty almost 100% sure about that which is nice yesterday Booyah Nation it was a dream it was all a dream but today it's a reality and this is why I tell you guys make sure you're playing the weekend league the Memphis Depay is going to be the inform that sells for the most money 130,000 coins we made off of Memphis Depay we sold every single inform we sold most of the gold players some gold players didn't sell we started this episode off on 100,000 100, coins we ended up picking up 109,000 coins we ended up picking up 125,000 coins from just getting Elite 1 then after selling the players were up at 677,000 coins Booyah Nation Sergio Ramos had some great conversation going on in the comments down below So many of you saying skills don't do it to yourself Stay away from a high medium center back And so many of you guys saying skills Sergio Ramos got me elite Sergio Ramos got me gold one Sergio Ramos has been a beast for me One of my favorite center backs So I'm sitting here and I'm kind of I feel mixed emotions about Sergio Ramos. I have used him before on my mega team, but not into a large extent. Now, the only reason I want Sergio Ramos because it's the only way this team really works. Ramos goes into De Gea, also goes into Jordi Alba, also links up with Ibora. And then at the, at the back, you also have Smalling going into De Gea. So it just works out lovely. I didn't know if I was going to be able to sign Neymar Zito, but we, we found him for 630,000 coins. He, at the time, he was going for 640 to 650. We got him for 630 in a left forward with the Hawk. It was a dream, dream scenario. The only thing we overpaid for was fitness cards because we had to pay 1,500 coins because they're just BS right now in FIFA. Anyways, we're around 66,000 coins as of right now, which is going to leave us with enough coins to be able to have fitness cards and to buy healing cards throughout the weekend league. Hopefully, fitness cards go down because if they go up, we're not going to have enough money for fitness cards. Anyways, Booyah Nation, this team for me was something I thought heavily about blowing up, exploding it, get rid of it, get rid of it, get, get rid of it. Jeez, I can't even speak. Going back to the BPL, going back to Anthony Martial, going back to Man of Match Walcott, going back to Sun. But as I start to look at this team, the front three we have up top, Gareth Bale, Neymar Zito, and the boy Carrasco. We found a stud in Carrasco. That was a lucky find. I never thought this guy was going to be that good for me. He was an absolute lucky, lucky find. When I start to compare player to player, is Carrasco better than, who would we play at left forward? Maybe regular Walcott, maybe uh, Inform Hazard. I think you have to get to Inform Hazard before you can say that he's better than Carrasco. So let's say we have to buy Inform Hazard. That was going to be a lot of money. Then we go to the striker position. Who can score as many goals as Carrasco scored at striker? Uh, we're going to look at Man of the Match Sun. That's a lot more money. And who could play better than Gareth Bale at the right forward position? Money. So now all of of a sudden we wasted all of our money in our front three and for the BPL team to be a quality and be better than this team that we're running right now I need the boy Pogba and Conte and unfortunately I start this game off I want you guys to be able to watch this gameplay right here because I'm gonna show you a gameplay the way I'm gonna play the weekend league with this team and this is a game in division one the guy scores in the first minute I'm gonna let this ride out I want you to see how Sergio Ramos plays for me I want you to see how I play with Carrasco because so many people are like how are you getting these goals with Carrasco and also I also want to let you know I'm not gonna start Carrasco on seven chemistry I'm gonna tell you what I'm gonna do in a minute now Let's break this down real quick. Um, if I wasted all that money on my front three, I probably wouldn't have had enough money for Pugba. For a BPL team to absolutely be way better than this team, I would have needed Conte and Pugba. In the back, we would have went with Smalling and we would have found somebody to link up besides Smalling. Unfortunately, us selling everything wouldn't have got us all those players. Men of the match, I mean, one to watch. Mani's expensive. Men of the match, Sun's expensive. Inform Hazard's expensive. Um, and it would have been hard to get Pugba included. So. We did 35 wins with this team. That's pretty hard to do. In my opinion, for me, it's hard. 35 wins. I know a lot of you guys will be like, yo, 35, 39, that's when you're considered a good player. For me, when you're hitting 34, 35, 36, yo, that's, that's already crazy because it is so hard to only lose five games out of 40. I just, it's hard. It's very, very hard. I don't consider myself a pro, uh, so I just, I'm just a casual player, and I find it very, very difficult. Some people get mad when I say that, so I'm, I'm a YouTube player. Let's say that way because you guys get mad when I say I'm not a good player. Um, but anyways... 
I look at this and I'm like, yo, we got 35 wins. Why the hell are we going to blow up a team that did that? Now, we had to blow up a team that got us 34 wins in the BPL team, but that's because of requirements. I didn't want to blow that team up. We had to blow that team up. Gareth Bale gets us back into the game. I had to blow that team up. And now that I blew that team up, we found a team that got us 35 wins. And is this team going to perform as good as, as it did? Because remember, it performed 35 wins against other BVA teams and Bundesliga teams. Is it going to perform that well when it gets matched up against the BPL teams, the man of the the, 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 the legend teams? That we're going to find out. That I, I can't tell the future, so I don't know. But what I do know is Carrasco performed against Boateng, Ramos, and stuff like that. Now it's going to be interesting if he could uh, perform against Blanc and Smalling and all the great center backs that are about to come back into the weekend league. Now, our midfield look at Carrasco right there the beautiful finesse shot from the boy from outside the box now our midfield Ibora Casemiro and James Rodriguez yes Pogba Conte and 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 throw like a KDB in there oh that's poo and all over this midfield I have but Ibora even though he's slow was good for us um he ain't a Pogba but he's working out all right Casemiro's not a Conte but he's working out all right so we're riding with that man that's why I decided not to blow this team up now the way I'm gonna run this team Booyah Nation is I'm not gonna start Carrasco as striker because I want Carrasco on all full cam the reason is Carrasco is gonna be my right striker Gareth Bale is gonna be my left striker and Neymar is gonna be my cam I would much rather my cam be on seven chemistry and I'd much rather Neymar be on seven chemistry than Carrasco because if you look at Neymar's stats he kind of has more stats than Carrasco because he's a better overall he's a better card in the game so I'm gonna put a I'm gonna I'm gonna give my, my, my worst card or my better card less chemistry before I give my worst card less chemistry. That's how I look at it. I don't want my worst card to get even worse. Uh, Carrasco, I'm talking about on paper. I know Carrasco's probably our best player on this team the way he's performed, but on paper, Carrasco's weaker than Bale and then Neymar less overall, so I want him to be on full camp. So Bale starting on 10, Carrasco starting on 10, the boy Neymar is going to start on 7, and he will be our camp for the entire weekend league. I felt Ben Yedda was a great player. He'll come off the bench, but is Neymar better than Ben Yedda at the camp position? I mean, there's, I don't think there's an argument there. Neymar, five-star week for Neymar, five-star skill, and Neymar with the pace on him, Neymar with the passing ability. Neymar just a great player, one of the best players in world football, one of the best players in this game. Um, I'm a little bit shaky about the defense. Again, not much is changing. Walker and Small best center back best right back uh, from the BPL probably the right best center back right back uh, best right back duo you can find they're absolutely unbelievable in my opinion they're coming into the team which is an upgrade a big big upgrade from Veron is great no doubt about it DeMarcus is great but Walker and Smalling is something else um on the other side, Sergio Ramos a little bit shaky, and then Jordi Alba as well. Both those players love to go forward. Both those players are players that play in the bun in the BBVA. And I look at this like this. I know a lot of people probably think I'm crazy. You know how this work rates? I think work rates do matter. But I think more importantly, EA uh, tries to make a player play the way they play in real life. What does that mean? Jordi Alba plays for Barcelona. How many times have you seen Barcelona been attacked and, and been pushed back, like very heavy, against Madrid? against some teams in the against PSG in in, 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 in the Champions League. Against Atletico Madrid, against very few teams do you see them not be on the ball and Jordi Alba in the front attacking. Same goes along with Sergio Ramos. They play in a league where they heavily dominate the ball, heavily dominate the attack, so they can run forward. And I feel like EA tries to mimic players' play styles. I could be 100% wrong. Jordi Alba's not used to defending. Sergio Ramos is not used to defending. Even when they played for Spain for so long, uh, these guys were constantly attacking players. Constantly attacking players. When Spain loses, they lose because they're attacking a lot. When Real Madrid and Barcelona lose because they're attacking a lot. So these are players that don't defend often. And Sergio Ramos, yes, one of the best defenders in the world hands down top top three in my opinion but still EA is going to mimic how they play and they like to push forward so it's very very shaky having both those guys on the left side of the defense but we've been looking since day one of this series for two players to play besides Smalling and Walker it's true even when we did 34 wins with the BPL uh, with, with the BPL team, we wanted Alaba and Boateng. We always been searching for somebody to play beside. We even went to Chiellini and Alexis, uh, 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 Alexandra uh, for a weekend. So we've been looking for a duo to play beside Sergio Ramos and Walker. I mean, excuse me, beside Walker, Smalling and Walker. And now it's time to see if Sergio Ramos and Jordi Alba are those guys. Are they the guys that can play beside uh, Smalling and Walker? And hopefully they are with De Gea in goal. So Casemiro and Ibora will definitely help out that side of the defense a lot as they're both defensive players. You can see the way I play, man. I'm trying to hold the ball a lot, trying to keep possession away from my opponent. Opponent, trying to dominate the game, but my player, my opponent was definitely playing some great defense. Right here, the ball falls to the boy Ibor. Ibor finds the boy Neymar Zito, and Neymar is going to tuck one into the back of the net with the number 22 on his back. Well played to Neymar, doing exactly what we signed him for, to play the cam position, but still be able to get in the box and be a striker, and that's exactly what he does right there. So, Gareth Bale, Carrasco, and Neymar, all front three players doing amazing. Dominating possession, dominating shots, dominating the scoreboard, dominating shots on target. There's nothing better. There's nothing better. Your team is clicking on all cylinders. It's Division One. Uh, is this what is is, is, the, is the weekend league going to be a walk in the park like this? Of course not. Open man back post. 
Gareth Bale is the only player in this game that can that can impress me, like with that high of an overall. What is he a 90 in this game? And then he just misses some of the stupidest stuff sometimes. I don't know why he does it, but sometimes I look at Gareth Bale and I'm just like, why did I pay this much for you? And then there's sometimes I look at him like, that's why I paid so much for you. But Gareth Bale, man, sometimes he's a love hate relationship, man. He's hot then he's cold. He's yes then he's no. Yes, I just sent Katy Perry to y'all. Take it however you want, baby. Take it out. <laughs> uh, but yeah, man, Bale's one of those guys I love and then I hate. This guy's in there. But look at that beautiful deep bench from the boy Walker. That's why he's there. I'm going to look up the field, see Neymar. Neymar trying to pick out a pass. This is what Neymar's good for. Oh, a little bit of skill move right there. Not bad. I see a guy down bottom. It's James Rodriguez. I decide not to use him. I go to Carrasco. Carrasco back into James Rodriguez. Roger Rodriguez back into Carrasco. Carrasco into Neymar Zito. Back into Carrasco. Back into James Rodriguez. Looking for something beautiful. Pass and Neymar Zito. Probably could have shot that the first time. Probably didn't even have to talk that fast. Right there, Booyah Nation. But I felt like it would give some effect to the video and uh, make it kind of entertaining for somebody who's watching. So y'all probably hated that. Anyways, my man Neymar Zito, first game, two goals, and that's what I'm talking about. Ben Yedda was great at the camp position. I take nothing away from him. Was he scoring two goals a game? Not so much. Neymar Zito is going to be our assist beast. He's going to be our goal scoring beast. Do I expect two goals from every single game? Hell nah. Of course not. I don't expect that. Right here, great chance from him. De Gea comes up big, and that's why we brought him back. I don't expect that from Neymar Zito. Not even close. I don't. I expect him to get a couple assists. I do expect him to get a lot of assists, especially playing behind. Carrasco, because Carrasco scoring a scoring machine, man. Every game he's getting at least one. Right here, my opponent's trying to find a goal because he needs to get back into this game. We're up 4-1. I'm kind of just chilling with the ball. At this point, I'm going to skip. Uh, you know, I'm going to I didn't skip, actually. I don't know what the hell am I talking about. At this point, I'm trying to just control the game, trying not to give possession away, trying to see if I'm going to be able to hold on to leads with this team and see if my defense is good enough to defend. As you can see, I'm passing all the way back. I'm not looking for more. I'm looking to see if a team is balanced, okay? We found out we could score four goals. That's nice. But now can we defend? Is this team good enough to defend? It can score a lot, and that's amazing. We got to find out if we can defend. Because it's going to be games where we can't find the back of the net, and it's no-nil, and it's late in the game, and we got to find out if we can defend. Right here, down the side that we don't want to see. Sergio Ramos, Jordi Alba, he burned through, but Walker once again with another, another mega defensive performance for us, man. Gareth Bale, I tried over the top. And this, this is all a learning curve. I'm in this game to find out what this team can do. Is over the tops working for Carrasco? Definitely not. I tried it at least three times this game. I couldn't even get one of them to work. Right here, the boys inside cuts, cuts outside Sergio Ramos with a big defensive stop, but that's the problem with, Jordi, with Sergio Ramos. I don't know if you guys saw that, but I did. Jordi Alba was playing center back. Sergio Ramos was playing left back right there. They swapped positions. I don't want to be seeing that, man. I want Jordi Alba in his position. I want Sergio Ramos in his position. Stop playing dumb, man. Stop playing those games. Look where Ramos is standing on the field right now. He's pushing up. Smalling still all the way back there. Look where Ramos is. That's the problem with Ramos because in the counterattack, it's a danger. He's dangerous, but you know he's he's one of the best center backs in the game. I don't know if you can go wrong with him. Right here, he's a little bit forward, over the top to Smalling. No Sergio Ramos for the cover up, but Jordi Alba would have got that had he not shot so quick. So either way, we stopped his angle. That's great defense, in my opinion. You always want to stop your opponent's angle. We did that with Jordi Alba, and then De Gea did the rest. Nice ball to the middle. Gareth Bale stops it. 74th minute. We're kind of just cruising, trying to get to the finish line. Nice little pass back into the boy Carrasco. What can we do with it? Nice little skill move to get by the boy Marcelo. Was that Marcelo? I think it was. I tried an over-the-top once again, and it reminded me not to ever do an over-the-top in the weekend league this weekend. The team is not built for that. I know we're fast up top, but it just doesn't seem like it's worth it. Nice little pass right here. He's going to try to get through smaller with a big boy tackle big foul but realistically man do I think this is the best team that we've used? Yes. And the reason I think it's the best team that we've used is because, first of all, it's the most coins we've ever invested in a team. Guys, we just wasted 500K. Nice goal from him there. 500K on Bale. Excuse me. On Neymar. Um, Neymar, Sergio Ramos, and De Gea. Okay? We already had Gareth Bale, who's 300K. Uh, we have Carrasco, who's like 100 and something K. So, yes, this team is very expensive. All of a sudden, you're starting to talk about a mega team. It took us two months of playing the weekend league. And we almost have a mega team. Yes, we don't have the Messi yet. Yes, we don't have the Neymar and Ronaldo yet. But if we sold some players, we actually could have them, at least one of them. And then the rest of the team would be kind of whack. But for me, um, we're, we're, we're up there now. We have the team. We have no complaints. We can't complain. We've gotten Elite 1 multiple times. We've gotten Elite 2 multiple times. We've done amazing things in this road to glory. Um, and this team is probably the best team that we've had so far. Am I going to end up choking and not doing well this weekend league? It's a, high, it's a high possibility just with any team. You never really know until you get into the weekend league and see how it starts going. Um, but I truly think that we have a fantastic team here and this is a team that I would run on my main team on my main on my main account the only person I would insert into the team is Ronaldo but then saying that who would I replace and it would be Neymar because I wouldn't replace Carrasco I even bought Carrasco on my main account I like him I think he's a beast I'm not here trying to hype him up I just think he scores a lot of goals for me man so I don't know why he just works for me so Carrasco is somebody I would not get rid of I would probably get rid of Neymar for Ronaldo but a beautiful over the top here and once again the fourth over the top of this half shows it's just not going to work for me this weekend league so when you build your team make sure you go into division one make sure you get into a game into games 
it. Make sure you try everything. What works for you? What doesn't work? Where you at? Where you going with it? How you playing the games? How can what helps? Like what is the exact way to play with each player? Sergio Ramos saving us right there. How do you want to play with your team to make sure your team is on point? And that's what you got to do, man. You got to go into Division, Division One. Practice with your team. Practice makes perfect. Try your team. And even if there's one of your favorite players, look. If Carrasco was holding this team back, I'd get rid of him. I don't care how many goals he has. I don't care what he's done. We got rid of man of the match Walcott that was good for us. We got rid of the informed Walcott that was good for us. This is things you have to do, man. Just because one player is good, if the rest of the team is not working out, get rid of it. Start over. I don't care if it's your best player or not. You need to be able to play with a full team. And right now, I do believe we have a full team. And I'm hoping that Jordi Alba and Sergio Ramos are the guys we've been missing. And they're going to take us 36 wins. That's all we can hope for. We got 35. Our next goal is 36. We'll see if we'll be able to hit it. We're going to get a big Division One win right here, Booyah Nation. Uh, you got to see how I play. You got to see what I try throughout Division One. Throughout Division One, I'm trying different play styles. I'm trying to see what's working for me, what's not working for me. I think y'all should do the same thing because it helps you get ready for the weekend league. With that, Booyah Nation, hope you guys did enjoy. Big boy team we picked up from the rewards. Big thumbs up if you enjoyed it. We dominated stats, and hopefully we could dominate the weekend league. I doubt it, but I hope so. Big thumbs up, subscribe. I'll catch you soon. Booyah, we out. Good luck this weekend. Woo! What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, Double A, Nine Skills. Welcome back to the Road of Foot Champions. And Booyah Nation, I don't know what the confusion was yesterday, but when I posted that draft video, I think a lot of people thought that I was not.